What's going on pranksters and anyone who loves eating chips? In this video I'll be showing you guys 12 awesome chip life hacks that will make your life a lot easier when eating them. So if you're someone who enjoys a good bag of chips, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more. And real quick guys, if this video gets 1000 likes, I will be giving away a box of 50 snacks to someone from the comments. And to participate, all you have to do is like this video and leave a comment below telling me the name of your favorite chips and why they're the best. For example me, my favorite chips are Hot Cheetos Extra. Good luck pranksters, now let's get this video rolling. Here's a big bag of Hot Cheetos that I will open for you. Most will say that this is the best way to open a bag of chips, and I agree, but when it comes to sharing a big bag of chips with others, you will have to open it a different way. Let's tape this bag shut and open it again, except that this time I will open it from the side using a pair of scissors. See, now the opening is bigger, which means more hands can grab chips at the same time from the bag. The only issue here is that the bag won't stay standing still for long. To fix that, I will cut a couple of openings on two styrofoam cups. This will go on the ends of the bag and will act as stands. This hack definitely comes in handy at parties. This next hack is my favorite of the bunch as it will make things much more easier for when you're eating chips and try to enjoy a soda at the same time. Here I have a can of Lay Stacks which come in a tall container. So I'm gonna open it and dump out all the chips into another container. Now that the can is empty, I can modify it. On top of the opened end of the can, trace an outline of the soda can. You can use a sharpie for that. With a blade, I will create a cut using the outline. At this point, the soda can fit in perfectly as you can see right here. Well, next to that opening, we will create another one for the chips. As far as the lid, hot glue it to the closed end of the can of chips. On top of the lid, we are gonna glue a small plastic dipping cup. So let's load up the can with as many chips as possible. Can't forget about the soda can, and again, I will use my syringe hack to fill up the plastic cup with some cheese dip. See guys, now you can have all your snacks in one hand, which will make it very convenient when watching the big game. Continuing the trend of finding more convenient ways to eat chips and dip, next we will hack an empty plastic water gallon. As you can see right here, I'm marking the front side of the upper part of the gallon, which is what I will be cutting out. Notice that it's on the opposite side of the handle. Cutting is so easy when you have a good blade. At this point, it should look something like this. If you need to wipe the inside dry with a paper towel, please do so. Let's put some chips inside. This amount is a good portion. On the cap, apply glue to mount on a cheese dip container. Open it up and position the cap back where it goes. Make sure that it snaps in and that's all there is to this. Again, just like the previous hacks, you can easily hold your chips and dip with one hand while you enjoy them. If you're a nachos fan, this next hack is for you, as it will make eating nachos so much better. Here I have a bag of tortilla chip bowls. As you can see, they are shaped as bowls. So a good way to enjoy these without the messiness that comes from eating nachos is by putting the cheese inside sandwich bags. Fill it up as much as you want and then tie a knot on it. You can do the same with some refried beans as well. Now we have two pouches which we can cut off the tips and that's it. See how easily I can add my beans and cheese onto my tortilla chips? It's very mess free and I can choose how much beans and cheese I put on them as I eat them. The following trick might seem a little silly but it really does work and just like many of the previous hacks, it makes things much more convenient. So I will be taking my chips and taping them onto my soda can like so. I'll crack open the coke and while the tab is in a vertical position, I will tape my cheese dip on it. Now all I do is open up the chips and dip and we're pretty much done. Last thing you'll need is a straw to sip from. Now you can hold all your snacks in one hand. This is a trick that any kid can try. Here's another big bag of chips hack. It's best for when you need to share a large bag of chips but don't have any more bowls to put them in. So all I'm doing here is making a cut down the middle and I'm dumping all the chips out so I can easily cut all the way through the bag till it splits in two. Now all I do is put the chips back and of course split them evenly and that's it. That's how easily you can share a big bag of chips by splitting it in two. This next hack will help you share chips with everyone much easier. For example, if you have a large bag of Hot Cheetos, you can split them into smaller portions with the help of some sandwich bags. This method is actually cheaper than having to buy a bunch of smaller bags, which sometimes are overpriced in my opinion. 
Here's another great way to recycle an empty cereal box. We're gonna turn this into a snack tray. First, make sure that all the flaps are closed on the cereal box. Now we can begin marking outlines to create cutouts. Let's start with the styrofoam bowl. Now this can of bean dip. And of course, we can't forget about our soda can. Try to space them out throughout the box evenly. I can now make the cutouts with my trusty blade. And look at that guys, I'll fill up the bowl with some chips and place it in. The can of bean dip fits in perfectly as well as the soda can. Now we are done and we have recycled an empty cereal box and turned it into a very handy snack tray. Once more, here I have a can of Lay's chips and if we pop off the lid, we are met with the can seal which we can easily peel off. So let's do just that. Just don't throw it away just yet because we are gonna lay it over the upside down lid and on top we can add some cheese dip to enjoy our chips. The best part is that once we are done, we can simply throw away the seal and the lid will be clean so we can put it back on the can of chips. Get an empty plastic bottle that you no longer need. The bottle must have a cap on. Begin by removing the label as we will be making a cut on it that should run straight through the middle horizontally. Just make sure that you don't completely cut it off, just fold the top back. On one side of the bottle, we will fill it completely with some chips. Of course, I'm using Hot Cheetos for this example. On the other side, we will add some cheese. So it should look something like this. Now you can easily carry your chips and dip all in one hand. It makes eating Hot Cheetos with chips much more enjoyable, especially if you're having to stand while you're eating your chips. Yeah guys, Hot Cheetos and cheese dip are freaking amazing. If you have an empty 2 liter soda bottle, you can put it to use at your next party to hold a bag of snacks, such as chips. Here's how you can do that. Remove the label from it and with a blade, split the bottle in two, such as I'm doing right here. Carefully take a paper towel and wipe up the inside, just in case it's a little wet. Here I have a large bag of hot wing flavored ruffles, and I'm gonna put it inside the bottom piece of the soda bottle. It should fit quite snug. Fold the bag down so it wraps around the bottle. And now you can have this on the table at your next party and have your guests grab chips with ease. Now when it comes to putting everything away, unroll the bag and place it through the top piece of the soda bottle all the way through the opening and simply keep it shut with the bottle cap. Just twist it on. Looks pretty neat, doesn't it? If you're at a party and you just open a bag of chips and want to keep your bag standing up, for your convenience, just grab two plastic forks. These are what will make that happen. Take the bag of chips, fold back the top end of it, and in between, jam the forks in. Just like this, the forks will act as stands and keep the bag in a vertical position for easier access to your chips. There you guys have it. 12 handy chip life hacks that will make your life much easier. If you enjoyed watching this video, I hope you already gave it a like and left a comment below for a chance to win a box full of snacks. But that can only happen if this video gets 1000 likes. Thanks for stopping by pranksters. I'll be seeing you guys in my next video.